If you're looking to make videos fast and upload on a daily basis, I recently came across an online video editor platform that can help. That platform is called InVideo. It has a pretty intuitive user interface with a large library of already created video templates that you can use for a lot of different kinds of videos. And they seem to be continuously improving it, as well as adding to their template vault. It seems a little too good to be free, right? And you would be right. It is indeed a paid platform, but you can use it for free, only there's going to be a watermark on the video. However, stick around to the end of this video and you might be able to win a completely free annual subscription worth essentially $120. But first, let me give you the rundown on how to use InVideo to make videos fast. That way you can know whether or not InVideo is right for you. Okay, so first we wanna determine what kind of video you're trying to make. InVideo has a couple of choices for us here. So if you wanted to create, say, a video based on an article, you would choose one of these two. And then there's also logo reviews, as well as, say you just wanted to start with your own media and footage, you could choose one of these two. But what I think InVideo is the best for is their template vault. In their template vault, there's a lot of different categories that you can choose from. Say you wanted a promotional video, you'd click on here, and then you can see all the templates you can choose from. They have a bunch of different ones in different aspect ratios for different social media platforms. And a lot of them are really well made. So let's go back and click on intro and outro. Here are a couple of different logo reveals. I actually really like this one right here. Let's go ahead and check out this logo review. So right here you could change up the text. Let's just call it Dreamlet. And then I don't really want these here, so I can just completely delete them. And let's go ahead and look at the preview. So I don't really want it to say logo, and I do have my logo right here. So let's go ahead and drag it on. So now it replaced the logo word, and we have my logo on this video. And there you go, it's just a simple opening if I did say a video about VR. And these can actually act as both intro and outros because they have the social media platforms right there. You can always remove them if you want to. I'll go ahead and display some of these logo ones for you guys as I continue to talk. So they also have slideshows, wedding memories, lots of uh, memory stuff for slideshows, which is really cool. They've also got video ads and so on. I'll go ahead and display some of my favorite ones as I continue with this video. So if you wanted to create a video based on an article, you would click on one of those two and then choose your style. Let's go ahead and do that. And these are the story templates. They have the names for the sort of style that you're going for. Um, let's go ahead and choose Serene. And then it'll take you to this page where you add your headline and add your story, which is essentially your script. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a video primarily about productivity and motivation. So productivity and motivation. Right here in the text field, you're going to want to enter each sentence as a new line. Okay, so I just made that up real quick on the spot. It's just a video that is essentially trying to motivate people. And that's a very simple video. Um, it's a short video as well. And video definitely lends itself to shorter videos. The maximum size of video can be is actually 15 minutes. So right here is gonna be a quick snippet of a video that I would upload to say Instagram or something like that. And right here you wanna check auto suggest images and videos. Let's click next. Okay, so after it loads, we're in the storyboard. The storyboard is where we see a whole bunch of placeholders that NVIDIA placed for us. Um, we're not going to actually use any of them, but if we hover over it, you can see that there's a media right here. What you can do is go on media and look for something like, say, motivation. After you enter, there's a lot of other videos that pop up and you can drag 
and drop it, I'm going to replace it. You could also drag it here to not replace it. Um, this will just continue the video. Right here is where you trim the video. So I don't want this to be 18 seconds, that's way too long. Let's go for closer to 5 seconds. We're going to make this video a lot shorter. You can also change the playback speed here. Say you wanted to use the later parts of the video. I think I do prefer this guy jumping rather than him just raising his arms. So I'm going to start the video there instead. Say done. Productivity and motivation. And these are things that they automatically do, but you can change them. So I could change the title right here if I wanted to. And then it would just save like that. So how do you stay motivated to be productive? And again, we can change that. It's not the best positioning. Let's go ahead and use this one instead. We can play it. I do like it better when the sun is already showing. So let's move this here. Done. And now it's been changed. So we pretty much do this for each of them. And there are a couple of them. Normally, I feel like if it's too long, I could have cut one off. Like maybe cut this one off. It's not necessarily needed and then it helps keep the video a bit shorter. But once you finish up, we go to Advanced Editor. So the Advanced Editor has a lot of things that you can actually do. Um, media is also here, so you could actually change it if you wanted to. But right here, you can change the positioning of the text as well as um, what kind of text it is. Say, for instance, a headline, a subheadline, and so on. You can also change the font. And these are stickers that you can add to make it seem more lively. So in order to add it, you just click on it and then it would add by itself. And right here on the right side, if you click on any element, it'll pop up. And here you have layers and other scenes. This is pretty intuitive if you have ever worked with Photoshop or Premiere. There's also a lot of effects that you can apply to really spice up the video. As you can see here in the layers, there's already an overlay. And this is something you can change if you unlock it. Like for instance, if I didn't want the opacity to be too strong, I'd lower it so that you can see the actual video a bit more and maybe give it even just a slight, slightly different tint. Not too much of a difference, but something subtle. And what's cool in, in video that actually surprised me was you can change some of the way things are animated and I thought this was one of the more interesting elements because I've actually never seen an online editor allow you to do something like this. So the overlay will actually play in now. So let's preview that. So one downside that I have is that it can be pretty difficult for the preview to render properly without you actually exporting the video. But I'll go ahead and show the final result um, on the screen. Another cool thing about InVideo is that you can change the way things transition. For instance, one of my favorites is this one. They actually have a preview of how the transition is going to go. So wipe X axis is one of my favorite ones and I'll show it on the screen. And something cool you can do with shapes, you can make a transparent shape, say the circle right here, and then give a sort of more focus to a certain spot of the video. So that is one really cool thing about InVideo. There's a lot of creative things that you can do to make your video look more interesting. And these are things that are a bit more difficult to learn in Premiere or take more time to apply these creative changes. And I think that's really cool. Another nice thing about InVideo is that you can actually upload your own files up to 800 megabytes. So you can use your own videos that you filmed and you can add your own voiceover and so on. So that makes it a really, really versatile online video editor. After you have your video done, all you need to do is click preview and export. And right here it says video duration or bandwidth may result in some lags in the preview. Rest assured the final render will come out crisp. So let's go ahead and just export this video. And then what's going to happen is it processes. After processing is complete, all we need to do is hover over it and click this download button. And that's pretty much it. You have your video done and ready. I'll definitely be using InVideo more for some of my future videos, probably in tandem with Premiere Pro. I definitely think it's worth trying out if you're looking to make videos for social media or any other sort of shorter form video. 
Okay, now it's time for the giveaway. So 10 of you guys will get the chance to win a free annual subscription with InVideo. All you have to do is be a subscriber, click the link in the description, and leave a comment below saying that you entered the giveaway. If you ended up not winning the free subscription, you can use the discount code DREAM25 for a 25% discount on the annual subscription. I know a lot of you guys out there are quite repelled by paid tools, but honestly, if I never took the first step to pay to use VideoScribe and Premiere Pro, my channel wouldn't even exist today. The way I think of it is as an investment. If you know you're going to use it and it speeds up the process or helps you create what you want to create, then it's worth investing the time to build up your skills on how to use it and eventually you'll get returns. By freelancing using those skills, I've managed to already get back how much I spent on it, plus more. I'll probably talk at length about this mindset shift in the future, but for now, if you do decide to use InVideo, consider using my affiliate link down in the description. It'll really help the channel out a lot. Anyways, thanks for watching, and best of luck with your creative endeavors.